And let's take a look at Odessa. Odessa is in the news. They're talking about getting this grain out of Ukraine by Odessa port, but they can't. They keep claiming that it's because of a Russian blockade. And it is not because of a Russian blockade. It is because of Ukrainian mines. And I want to show you a, a Western news source that admits that it's Ukrainian mines, but they're still at the same time saying it's a Russian blockade. So let's take a look at that. From The Guardian, Russia and the West compete to secure safe passage for Ukraine's grain. Both sides agree grain must reach world markets soon, but each wants to decide how. Let's look for the word mines. Ukraine's backlog of 20 million tons of grain needs to be exported quickly to avoid a further explosion of food prices. Uh, that is not possible due to the Russian naval blockade of the Black Sea port of Odessa and Ukrainian floating mines planted to block the port from Russian attack. Well, this, this is a much bigger problem. If Russia said, fine, go get, get the grain, th those ships still can't do it because of the mines floating around in Odessa port. Commercial shipping has already started in and out of Mariupol, that is controlled by Russia, but that's because Russia demined the port. Uh, Ukraine set up mines there also. Russia removed them and now commercial shipping has started. So this is not Russia's fault, this is Ukraine. And Ukraine continues to say, we're not going to send the grain until we get all kinds of guarantees, until we get this and that. So they're, they're using the threat of high food prices, of famine, to, to just get what they want. They're, they're the ones actually weaponizing this grain, not, not Russia. As for the export of Ukrainian grain, we do not prevent it. And there are several ways to export grain. The first, please, you can export through the ports that are under the control of Ukraine. This is primarily the Black Sea Basin. This is Odessa and nearby ports. We did not mind the approaches to the port. This Ukraine mind. I have already told all our colleagues many times that let them clear mines. And please let the ships loaded with grain leave the ports. We guarantee their peaceful passage without any problems into international waters. There is no problem, please. They must clear mines and raise ships from the bottom of the Black Sea, which were deliberately sunk in order to make it difficult to enter these ports in southern Ukraine. We are ready to do it. We will not take advantage of the demining situation to launch any attacks from the sea. I have already said this. This is the first. Second, there is another possibility. These are the ports of the Sea of Azov, this is Berdyansk, this is Mariupol, they are under our control. We are ready to ensure trouble-free export of Ukrainian grain through these ports. No problem. We have already completed the demining work. Ukrainian troops once mined it in three layers. Demining ends. We will create the necessary logistics. Please, we will do it. This is the second. Third, it is possible to export grain from Ukraine through the Danube and through Romania. Fourth, it is possible through Hungary. Fifth, it is possible through Poland. Yes, there are certain technical problems there, because the railway track is different there, and wagon bogies need to be changed. But it's just a matter of a few hours, that's all. And, finally, the simplest thing is export through the territory of Belarus. This is the easiest and cheapest way, because from there immediately to the ports of the Baltic states, to the Baltic Sea and further, to anywhere in the world. But for this, it is necessary to remove sanctions from Belarus. But this is not our issue. In any case, President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko puts the question in this way. If someone wants to solve this problem, if it exists at all, the problem of exporting Ukrainian grain, then please, the easiest way is through Belarus. Nobody interferes with this. So, there is no problem with the export of grain from Ukraine. We are ready to guide and ensure the safety of ships that leave Ukrainian ports and sail through the strait.
We are ready to do this in cooperation with our Turkish colleagues. The main problem was, you explain it to your viewers, listeners and readers there again. You can just take Mr. Zelensky's quotes from his last speeches. When he categorically refused to solve the problem of mine ports, if now, I repeat once again, they have changed their attitude, then there are no difficulties on our part.